Geomagic Wrap has earned its reputation over the years as one of the most capable and flexible mesh editing programs on the market. Here are two partial point cloud scans of a footrest. Watch as they are taken through one of the many Geomagic Wrap mesh editing workflows, highlighting just a taste of the many tools available in this capable software. This footrest was scanned in two different orientations in order to compensate for any underexposed areas that may be present with only a single scan. This is a common workflow consideration when using any laser or light-based 3D scanner, as their line-of-sight based technology is often limited by part geometry. After merging the two scans together, scan coverage will go up from roughly half to much closer to fully complete. Depending on part geometry, it isn't always possible to get 100% coverage. In those cases, Geomagic Wrap has a few other tools used farther along in this workflow to help fill in the gaps left during incomplete scan acquisition. The first step of this process is aligning the scans. Often, this is accomplished with a surface best fit averaging algorithm, popular for its speed and convenience. This part, however, was scanned with the use of calibrated target spheres, meaning that there is a possibility of a different style of alignment used here. Scanning targets are most often used when alignment accuracy is critical. These reference points will guide the alignment process. Geomagic Wrap has built-in tools that will allow automatic identification and assignment of target data to the model. Once the target data has been generated for each scan, the software applies the correct transform to accurately overlap the data sets. At this point, the software could also automatically delete the target geometry, as those spheres are not needed for the final model. But in the spirit of exploring more mesh editing methods and tools, removal of the target spheres will be dealt with manually later on. Now that the point clouds are aligned, they need to be translated into a single mesh model. For that, RAP has many different functions with different uses. One of the more popular tools is the HD mesh construction function. This tool generates a mesh through an internal voxel cluster algorithm, wherein a voxel cluster grows internally until it reaches the bounds of the scan surface. This method lends itself to a very smooth and high resolution mesh results. Now that the model is in a mesh format, target cleanup can begin. One method to manually clean these spheres up would be some sort of basic selection tool, such as the rectangle or paintbrush tool, combined with the select through modifier. Here, the polygon selection tool is being used. The select through modifier allows users to select all mesh within the selection area, not just the triangles visible on the screen. The problem with this method is that it leaves behind a lot of unwanted data that needs a second selection to clean up. Not the most efficient method available. Another option would be using the paintbrush tool without the select through modifier and taking a bird's eye view of the target. This eliminates the secondary cleanup step from the first try, but it could still be a bit faster. With the custom region selection tool, this task can be done very quickly. This tool propagates a polyline that's tied to the mesh surface and allows for one step flood filling of the bounded area, making it perfect for this type of target removal work. Once the targets are properly removed, the last step is to fill in the holes left behind. The hole filling tool has many different options depending on project needs like the curvature of the hole as well as the type of filling geometry desired. Once at a watertight mesh, it's always a good idea to repair the model using the Mesh Doctor. This tool will scour the mesh for errors, either from the original scan data or introduced during the manual mesh editing, and automatically correct them. Now that the model is a watertight and error-free mesh, it's time for more global functions to edit the mesh as a whole. The Relax tool smooths the surface of the mesh, eliminating a lot of the small peaks and valleys present in the scan data. The Decimate tool optimizes file size after all other mesh editing is complete.
Details in areas of high curvature are retained by keeping triangles small, while areas of low curvature are consolidated into larger triangles. This creates a functionally identical surface with much less data needed to represent it. At this point, all necessary mesh editing for this model is done, and it's ready for many possible downstream processes such as feature extraction or surfacing. Geomagic Wrap has many more mesh editing tools not covered in this video, so if you have a question or are stuck on a project, don't hesitate to reach out for a consultation and see what else Geomagic Wrap might be able to do for you.